I'm here with Marcus and Martinez again. Good to see you. How are you? We're good. We're. Uh, I feel ready for Eurovision. It could have been tomorrow, and I'm super ready. So yeah, we're we're excited. We're excited. The first thing for the camera: who is who? I'm Marcus, and I'm Martinez. Perfect. And how was your first rehearsal? Very good. Mm. I think like it couldn't have gone be better. So it was a very good first try, and uh, yeah makes me feel very safe for the next ones. Same for you, because <laughs> maybe it's yeah. a different feeling. We're two different persons. We could have different opinions. Uh, Martin said he couldn't have gone better. Uh, of course he could. Uh, uh, but uh, it was very fun and good to finally get to be on the stage and feel how it is. Of course, it's some um, minor details with the positioning and the camera yeah. uh, angles and everything. But I think it will go very well. And what has changed compared to the Melody Festival? Well, it's a bit of the camera angles that's going to change up a bit of the positionings of us, but also, you know, the stage is much bigger and we have these big cubes coming down as well. So it's uh, a lot of stuff we get to use uh, that I'm very excited about. How do you use these cubes? Uh, with my hands, I have like magic, uh, no. No, but uh, it's of course most for the background, uh, but of course we're gonna. Uh, try to use them as well as possible. You know, when you're on Eurovision, you want to just use as much as possible and make the best show out of it. What's been the best thing about your Eurovision journey so far? Um, maybe, you know, just meeting you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Two no, points from her. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. No, but uh, just the Eurovision journey in itself, it's its mm. crazy. It's its an own world, you know? Yeah, it's been the, so much. It's yeah. been crazy and, uh, yeah... Uh, I don't want to say it, but uh, it's been unforgettable. Uh, it's I'm not joking here, but it's actually been and it's been a crazy journey for us. It's mm. kind of like a once in a lifetime moment for us, so we're trying to enjoy every moment here. Yeah, you're using unforgettable in every sentence now. No, it's very but difficult. I had to. I have to. Okay, so maybe you can talk about your song. Uh, what is it about? Um, it's about a person that means a lot to you, someone that might, it could be a toxic relationship as well, uh, but someone that means a lot to you that you just can't forget, literally, as it's called. Uh, and yeah, we love the song, we love the vibe to it, and I feel like it fits perfect into, uh, I almost said Melody Festival, but uh, Eurovision, because uh, it's, uh, I think, uh, Eurovision is all about people uniting together and having a great party, uh, have a great time together. And that's what we want to do with this song when we're opening up Eurovision as well. So we're going to bring the club to Malmö. And you co-wrote the song. Uh, can you take me to the setting of writing it? Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, we actually got very inspired by our song last year, Air, uh, because we got a lot of good reactions uh, on it. And we like, okay, let's let's make like kind of like a... Similar vibe, but more rough, tough, uh, more show, more us, you know. More powerful. Uh, yeah, so I feel like we kind of upgraded uh, air and made unforgettable, mm. uh, and we're very proud of it. Yeah. And uh, and it's um, suits us a lot. Uh, Jimmy showed us. Uh, he had the instrumental first, not everything done, but um, like um, part of it. And then we, uh, me and Martinez, we started uh, doing the melodies and put together the structure. And Jimmy is one of the writers on the song. Yeah. So no, people know. Yeah, pr he had the instrumental, yeah. um, and then we uh, uh, wrote the song together with uh, Linnea. Uh, uh, she's amazing and it was uh, a great time and I really love the ending of the song as well because I remember when we did the song I told them like we need like something more to like spice it up and the end you know to make it like stand out a bit uh, from the ending like something you don't expect coming and that's when Jimmy came in with the when we do the slow-mo matrix thing and then um, the melody at the end where it just goes uh, crazy i really like it and uh, yeah it's a good ending because often when songs end and you're like oh is this the ending it's it's like when you watch a good movie and you're like oh is this the ending you want more you know and that's what we want people to think when they listen to our song that they want something more to come as well so yeah we're almost at the end of this interview <laughs> so my last question is what is the first thing you are going to do when this whole eurovision stuff is over We're gonna get home and relax for the first time in uh, six months. <laughs> we, uh, we're gonna uh, go back home to our village in Norway yeah. and just meet our friends and family and yeah, relax for a week. Yeah. Then we're going to see you on tour also in Germany. Yes, yes, you will, you will. So see you guys on tour. It's gonna be good. 
unforgettable. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Thank you.